class. Guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to Maps to Watch in Geography class. My first reaction in over a week. I got suspended. I say suspended. I got copyright claimed. Claimed? I got I got like a claim or whatever for the content that I reacted to. When still the previous video is still up. But for some reason YouTube liked to claim my videos. So it's a bit of a sticky situation. I've had, I've had other claims from other channels recently. So I've had to take a lot of videos down. I'm kind of worried, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know how to go about this, but hopefully it will work out, and I mean, yeah, we're just going to keep the reactions up. If you see this channel just suddenly goes missing, no, that's why, but I'm sure that's not going to be the case, but I'm on a bit of a, like a slippery, um, I don't know what the term is, basically if I get another claim, I'm going to get two weeks kicked off, and then if I get another one, the channel's deleted, so... Yeah, it's a bit of a hard sort of situation, but we're just going to have to sort of persevere for you. Hopefully you're all doing well, it's been a long time. And I'm just excited to get these reactions back. I've done a couple videos on the Patreon since. I probably will post them to the YouTube. But yeah, I just took this week to sort of have a bit of a break, to be honest. Because it's a bit stressful how this is all happening. But we're back to it. Hopefully we can get the reactions up and going. Is that, is that even a term? I don't know. But yeah, let's just check this out. And obviously it's a map one, you know. can't. I can't really start with anything else other than a map video. Maps to watch in geography class. Don't know why it's so dark, but... Let's get Come into back it. to yet another map video where we take a look at the most amazing maps I found and created. And before we get started, I'd really, really appreciate if you'd go. He's getting his money. You love to see it. I'm gonna skip it, but hopefully you're rich, Top baby. Phones in Ukraine shows where the Russian troops are staying. Wait, what? So they're tracking their phones, and you can sort of see it's the areas, yeah. Some parts in Ukraine as well. What's it different numbers for? Is it the amount of people there or something? The most popular browser in 2012 versus 2022. How t Microsoft Edge is the most popular? Oh no, it's not. Why does it show Microsoft Edge? Oh, because there's a tiny little thing here. Wait, can you see it? On the yeah, you can. There's a tiny little country here, I don't know where this is, that uses Microsoft Edge. Safari is the biggest in Greenland. Maybe because of that research and stuff? I don't really know. And then Google Chrome everywhere else. Yeah, it's crazy how stuff changed here. Firefox. I've got all of these because for certain like th things on my Patreon, I have to react to them on my Firefox because my stream, like my recording thing doesn't let me record Netflix shows on Chrome. But other than that, I do just use Chrome. It's crazy how things have changed. It's just dominated, literally pure dominance. Makes sense though. Although I thought Safari would be a bit higher. In this these European shit. countries, is it a crime to knock on a door and run away? It's a crime? Bro, I was breaking crimes, breaking laws since I was a kid then. It's yes in the UK. Oh, God damn, how was that? <laughs> to be fair, I can, I can see why it's a... No, that's not a crime. Because it's just kids that do it, man. <laughs> since 1839 as well. What's going on in the UK? So backwards, man. Oh, I used to do that as a kid a lot, man. <laughs> the things you do for fun as a kid is just different, man. Number honestly. of World Cup titles won by country. Who's going to win on. this year? May have been nearly have been 60 years ago, but we take it, man. We take it. I'm excited for the World Cup too, man. Who's my prediction to win it? I predicted France or Brazil. One of the two, man. The westernmost point of China is closer to Germany than it is to its easternmost point. Wait, what? Closer to Germany than it. Wait, I want to hear this again. The westernmost point of China is closer to Germany than it is to its easternmost point. What? Holy shit, China goes flipping deep into Asia. And the same God thing damn. with Iran. The westernmost point of Iran is closer to Latvia than it is to its easternmost point. Bro, the, the countries in Asia are fucking huge. It makes you think, like, realize how big they are compared to Europe. Because Asia is massive in terms of the land size. Percentage of black population in Europe in 2020. 4% in the UK. See, I guess this varies from city to city. Like in London, it's probably higher. Oh, my nose is so runny. France is very high, which actually isn't a surprise because you see in their football team. It's crazy that's 8%, but their football team is like 80% of them are black. 
maybe not 80 percent but a high percentage of them i wonder why it's so high in france as well compared to everywhere else maybe it's the laws so i don't really know i mean hey. the laws in terms of like people being allowed to move from country to country i don't really know why is that cool map showing the countries mentioned in the hungarian anthem So you got, what's this country? What is this country? Shh. Fuck, so you got Turkey, you got Hungary, is that Austria? No, I don't really know this. I'm not good in my European countries like this. Um, God sake, Mongolia, that's the one. Is this Romania and Hungary? No, I don't really know. Take a good look. Does your country import more from Germany or France? What things are like imported from Germany or France? Is it like just goods and stuff? I don't really know what sort of things would be imported from there. Germany is like oil, isn't it? The distribution of beavers in Europe, 1900 versus 2021. So it's brown where they are. I guess so. Because I've never seen a beaver before and they're only in certain parts of the UK. It's weird though, because they just like take up these small little areas. Why? Like it's little dots. Like the UK isn't big. Surely they could easily just dominate. Maybe it's just a lot harder for them to do that. If a North Korean escapes and gets caught, where would he or she be sent? Fuck's sake, man. Russia sends them back to North Korea. That is so sad. Malaysia sends them to the US. So Russia sends them. Oh my god, that's so sad. How just the like pretty much all of these send them back to North Korea. Shout out to Mongolia, Thailand, Japan, Philippines, Malaysia, and Taiwan, and obviously South Korea. That's sad, man. You just got through. Like, you just broke free, and then you just get sent back. It's horrible. Armenian and Greek populations before and after genocide in modern day Turkey. God damn. If 100 people lived in the EU, where would they live? What? If 100 people lived in the EU, where would they live? This doesn't even make sense. Unless it's in terms of population, I guess. But where's the UK? The UK is just not here. <laughs> I guess this is the country with the highest population, right? This map is based on a book called 1984, wrote by George Orwell. And to understand this map, you gotta read the book. I didn't know if it had been Animal Farm from him, but... Yeah, I don't understand this, to be honest. Countries providing humanitarian aid to Ukraine. It's good to see a lot of them are. A lot of them aren't as well, though, but a lot of them are. Some countries can't do it, to be fair. Do you live closer to where the Titanic sank or where the Moskva sank? This ship sank here. I mean, it's obviously, in the grand scheme of things, this is a huge ocean, but it's like an ocean between, like, it's sort of a landlocked ocean. That's kind of wild. And Titanic was here. I should have probably known that. Actually, no, I think I did. I don't actually know if I didn't know it. Obviously, it's quite because it hit an iceberg, didn't it? And I guess it's cold up here in the winter, isn't it? So. I didn't even know about the second ship either. A map oh, showing the paid leave for new mothers. The fact that there's not paid leave in the US or Suriname? Okayana. The travel Sorry. advisory map by United States in 2022. Damn. Do not travel. There's a lot of red. Well, basically the same map, but by Canadians. Really? The UK is exercise a high degree of caution. What's happening in the UK? I thought, huh? What? What's happening? Wait, let me just go back to the US one. 
Oh, the UK is the same. Oh, the US is the same. Oh, it's for COVID, isn't it? I think. Yeah, this it, is what it? South Asia looks like right now. God damn. It's absolute hell. I would hate that. Look how hot it is. Fuck that. Not the for map me, map showing man. the growth of the high-speed railways in China. China's got some elite living railway like sort of system, hasn't it? It's crazy. Yeah, Asia as a whole, like, a lot of the Asian countries, like Japan, South Korea, China, they've nailed rail and like railway because it's such a huge country, but those trains go so quick, you probably get from one point to another. I mean, it's so big, it still takes ages, right? But so much quicker than you'd get from one point to another in the UK when it's such a short distance, which is obvious, it's a quicker train, but still, <laughs> probably less stops as well. The world's billionaires, where do they live? Yeah, obviously it's dominated by the US. China's got a lot, Russia's got quite a lot. The UK, 45. In case you didn't know, Holland and the Netherlands are not the same. See, this is what confuses me, because in football, they're referred to as both. It's so, it's so interesting, because yeah, they're referred to as both. Obviously, the Netherlands is the whole thing, but... Yeah, I don't know, it's always confused me. It's always confused me. So when it's referred to as Holland, like the country is referred to as Holland in like, or just a lot of people see it as Holland, but I guess they're just not taught correctly or something. Why is this? I should probably look it up. Just one section of the country. Countries that have been under European control. Never colonized by Europe, shout out to them. Percentage of population absolutely certain that God exists in Europe versus United States. It's a completely different contrast, isn't it? Well, that's interesting why here it's such a high like, level of people who believe in it than compared to like these countries. It's just so interesting how this, it just sort of splits and then it's blue here. I think these are Muslim countries. It's, isn't this where um, like Armenia and Georgia are? But yeah, it's just interesting how just literally from country to country it would just like be such a different belief. Who owns more wealth? The top 0.1% or the bottom 80%? Bro, that's crazy, man. That sort of money I could not imagine. Oh, it just makes me smile thinking about it. Worldwide English proficiency levels by nation in 2021. Este mapa te muestra los países donde se habla en español. I thought it'd be more. I mean, it is a lot to be fair. It's pretty much all of South America and part of, and pretty much all of Central America as well. And even part of North America. And it's surprising actually there's a country in Africa. It's the same one as the last one that used flipping Safari. Is the, not Safari. It was like, what was it? Microsoft Edge is their main se like search provider. Oh God, I've got hiccups. Search provider. But also like in the US, it's like the second most spoke language. So yeah, actually, yeah, you can see how it's one of their most what spoken languages. What the earth languages. would look like if the oceans were drained? What? Wait, what's good? It's just slowly just the. <laughs> what the. I mean, that's not really surprising because. Of course, it's going to be a different colour. But I guess it's still quite cool to look at. But I'm sure over time it wouldn't be this sort of like. The contrast in the colour of the land wouldn't be this much. Like, it would slowly turn into like. Probably all the same because I guess the green and stuff will just go away if there's no flipping water. It'll just this all be is called brown. the one degree of population. Huh? What the fuck? So here, let's go back a little bit. 
fuck's sake. All right, let's just pause it around here. So this is probably like 65%, 60% percent of the map, but it's actually 40% of the population. Yeah, you can see how it just completely changes when you get to China and India. <laughs> okay, if you're still here, comment, I'm still here. I'm still here, but I'm not going to comment it. Yeah, that's the reaction. You know how I feel with the map ones. Um, they're just fun to do, but hopefully you enjoyed this. If you want more map videos, let me know in the comments. And yeah, we're back. And hopefully we can get some more reactions out without the fear of YouTube taking my channel down. But yeah, until next time, like, subscribe.